Hey everybody, Dave Doberman Samuel here, Team Doberman, Doberman Fitness Concepts, and it's coffee time. I'm still drinking the Caffeine and Kilos coffee that I uh, reviewed previously. This is their PR blend. Very good. It's uh, got a lot of flavor to it. Just want to make sure you get it at the right strength. You don't want to make it too weak. Uh, tablespoon per cup of uh, water and you're good to go. Um, but check them out, Caffeine and Kilos. Or Kilos and Caffeine. No, I had it right, Caffeine and Kilos. All right, so today I wanted to talk about seasoning and flavor for your meals. Uh, unfortunately, I get a lot of people that think that when they diet, they have to take all the flavor out of everything. They don't want to add, they don't think they can add salt, they don't think they can add anything to their meals. That's not true. Um, when you're exercising and you're depleting sodium and you're drinking a lot of water, you need to replenish your electrolytes. So salt is fine. You also have to keep in mind that when we're putting together these meals, these are non, these are not prepackaged meals. Uh, most of the United States, most of, most people get way too much sodium, but it's because they're getting prepackaged meals. They're going to fast food places. They're going to restaurants all the time. If we're dieting and doing it, you know, with with homemade meals, you can add flavor to your food because you're not going to even get close to what's added in prepackaged meals, restaurants, fast food joints. You're just not going to get there. So here's a few things that are kind of staples in my diet. Uh, minced onions, and I don't see this very often, but a really good way to make these is if you like sliders, like White Castle hamburgers, or I think Crystals is another one down south, you can add these to a extra lean ground beef, or even extra lean ground turkey, and mix it in, cook it in the hamburger, delicious. Uh, also add a little bit of garlic salt, which I have right here, and you can do some Adolph's meat tenderizer if you feel that's necessary. Um, the combination of garlic salt and meat tenderizer works really good on steaks if you have a lean steak that you want to use. Speaking of steaks, um, in hamburger, we've got a hamburger uh, seasoning from Grill Mates. This is really good. Um, I still would add a little bit of salt or some garlic salt with it. Um, together it's a fantastic combination. And then you have Mrs. Dash grilling blends. They have a lot of different ones. This one specifically for steak. Uh, Mrs. Dash makes several good blends of seasoning. They call them grilling blends. This one's for steak. Uh, you can use that with uh, some garlic salt. Um, also, like I said, garlic salt and Adolf seasoning, uh, Adolf's meat tenderizer together. That works good just by itself. Uh, cinnamon, I add this a lot. I use it with my oatmeal, uh, protein pancakes, a lot of different things like that. It helps with blood sugar. Um, an excellent supplement into your diet as well as a uh, thing to add flavor to your foods. Now salt, this is like I said, the most misunderstood item in our pantry a lot of times. Yes, salt can be overdone, but in, in moderation, salt's fine, especially when you're making your own food, when you're preparing the food. It only gets out of hand, it, for the most part, when we go to restaurants, when we get fast food, when we get prepackaged meals, microwave meals, things like that. If you stay on the outside of the grocery store for the most part and you use salt, you're going to be fine. Um, now obviously you want to talk to your doctor about that and your blood sugar, blood pressure. You want to know all, what your limits are as far as salt intake goes. But for most healthy people, salt is perfectly fine. Um, this is just ionized sea salt. Uh, another popular salt is pink Himalayan salt. That's another one that has a little bit more minerals in it. I don't know if it's enough of the minerals to be beneficial to a person, but maybe over the long haul it may. I don't see any problem with that. adding it to your diet. It tastes good. Um, I like the large granules that uh, sea salt and uh, pink Himalayan salt come in. So to me, both of them just taste really good with meat. So, you know, in summary, I just want to tell you, make your food taste good. Don't suffer. Don't let your taste buds suffer when you're dieting for whatever. If you just want to lose fat or if you're doing a competition or whatever, make it taste good. There's do do dozens of different flavorings and seasonings you can add. So try them out. If you have any questions or comments or any brands that you'd like us to review, list them below. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks, guys.